Have you ever wondered if it's possible to communicate directly from mind to mind without uttering a single word? Welcome to the fascinating world of telepathy, a concept that challenges the boundaries of conventional communication. Telepathy, as some believe, is the transfer of thoughts, feelings, or ideas from one individual to another without the use of our five commonly recognized senses. Now this might sound like a concept straight out of a science fiction novel, but did you know that the idea of telepathy has intrigued humans for centuries? Indeed, there are historical accounts and folklore from cultures around the globe that hint at the existence of such mind-to-mind -mind communication. From the tales of ancient seers and prophets, to the narratives of Omar Ibn al-Khattab, and even to modern-day superhero comics and films, the notion of telepathy has been woven into the fabric of our collective consciousness. Imagine being able to transmit your thoughts directly to another person's mind, that's the intriguing promise of telepathy. So, how might this mysterious process of telepathy work? Well, the first step in this mind-boggling phenomenon is relaxation. Just as a radio signal travels more clearly when there's less static, telepathic communication is more effective when both the sender and receiver are in a relaxed state. Picture it as calming the waters of your mind to make it a perfect mirror, capable of reflecting and receiving thoughts clearly. Once this state of relaxation is achieved, focus comes into play. The sender must concentrate on the message they wish to transmit. This isn't just about thinking of a word or an image but rather involves visualizing it in a clear, positive and detailed manner. The sender might imagine the smell of a rose, the sound of a laughing child or the feel of a soft breeze, the more vivid the visualization the stronger the telepathic message. Now here's where it gets interesting. This message doesn't just stay within the sender's mind, instead it's believed to travel along a path, a kind of psychic conduit, towards the receiver. This isn't a physical path we can see or touch, but rather a connection created by focused thought and intention. As for the receiver, they also have a crucial role. They must be in a relaxed state, open, and receptive to incoming messages. It's like tuning into a radio station. If you're not on the right frequency, you won't catch the broadcast. The receiver needs to tune into the sender's frequency to catch the transmitted thoughts. Now you might be wondering, is this scientifically proven? Well, while there's no definitive scientific evidence yet, many people report experiences that suggest telepathy is possible. And researchers are continuously exploring this fascinating frontier of human consciousness. While it sounds like a plot from a sci-fi movie, this is the basic premise of telepathy, direct mind-to-mind -mind communication. Now that we have a basic understanding of how telepathy might work, let's revisit some key points. Our journey through the captivating world of telepathy has shown us that it is seen as a form of non-verbal communication, one that does not rely on any of our five senses. Instead, it's thought to be about specific frequencies and vibrations, a mysterious sixth sense, if you will. It's certainly a departure from what we consider traditional communication, and this departure is part of what makes it so intriguing. We've also explored the pivotal roles of the sender and the receiver in the telepathic process. It's not a one-way street, but a shared journey. The sender must focus and visualize a clear positive message, while the receiver needs to be relaxed and open to receive this message. It's like a whispered secret, passed from one mind to another without a single word being spoken. The significance of focus and relaxation in this process cannot be understated. It's believed that only in a state of calm can the mind tune into the subtle frequencies that carry these telepathic messages. It's a delicate dance between two minds, each one synchronizing to the rhythm of the other. However, it's important to remember that telepathy challenges our conventional understanding of communication. It pushes the boundaries of what we believe to be possible, inviting us to question and explore the untapped potentials of our minds. The implications if telepathy were proven to be real are enormous. It would revolutionize not only how we communicate, but also our understanding of human consciousness and mental capabilities. Whether or not telepathy is real remains a subject of debate and research, but the possibility of directly transmitting thoughts from one mind to another certainly continues to captivate our imaginations.